This story starts in 1921, in New Bedford, Massachusetts, where a French-Canadian woman gave birth to Canada's answer to Rambo, Leo Major. Major's story starts out in 1940, where he joined the army in order to make his dad proud. Major first entered conflict in 1944, where he found himself somewhere that most other sane men wouldn't be caught dead. Normandy. Specifically, Juneau Beach. It was here that Major started to discover his calling in life. Killing Nazis. During a reconnaissance mission, he single-handedly captured a German armoured vehicle, securing radio equipment and secret codes. However, Major didn't stop there. And that very same day, he killed four SS soldiers, resulting in him losing an eye to a phosphorus grenade, but continuing to serve as a scout and a sniper, claiming that he only needed one eye to sight his rifle, which is pretty fucking badass in my eyes. However, this is only the start of Major's reign of Canadian terror, which continued four months later at the Battle of Scheldt. The Battle of Scheldt was a joint operation consisting of Canadian, British and Polish troops with the goal of taking the port of Antwerp to open up Allied shipping in the area. Major was on a reconnaissance mission in Zeeland when he saw two German soldiers walking along a dike. Major then proceeded to capture one of them and kill the other, swiftly moving on to capture the commanding officer, eventually forcing the German garrison to surrender after Major shot three more of them. Major then marched nearly a hundred soldiers back to the Canadian base camp, but not before ordering a passing tank to open fire on some enemy SS troopers that had shot at him previously. Due to this impressive feat, he was chosen to be awarded a DCM, which he declined as General Montgomery would award it, and in Major's own words, Montgomery was incompetent and in no position to be giving out medals. However, our Canadian Terminator went on to earn another DCM, this time for liberating an entire Dutch city from German occupation. In 1945, Major was blown up by a landmine, which would normally put you out of commission, and it did in fact break his back in three places and caused him to be written off. However, before he could be sent back to Canada, he escaped the field hospital to a nearby town where he stayed for almost a month until he had fully healed. He then returned to his unit, and while technically absent without authority, he avoided punishment for unknown reasons probably because all the officers were happy to have their resident Blazkowicz back in action. Shortly after his recovery, Major's regiment was approaching the city of Zvol, which had strong German resistance. Major and a friend of his were tasked with reconnaissance of the city, and we know what Major's interpretation of reconnaissance is. The two decided that they would try and capture the city alone, as you do. However, Major's companion was killed by German fire after the two were spotted around midnight. An enraged Major killed two German soldiers while the rest fled, causing Major to try and accomplish the mission alone. Major stole a car and captured a German officer, telling him that at 6am Canadian artillery would level the city. He then let him go, hoping that he would tell the rest of the garrison, causing them to rally outside the city. After this, he ran around the city, using his submachine gun and grenades to make as much noise as possible in an attempt to trick the Germans into thinking that the Canadians were storming the city. After capturing roughly a hundred Germans, setting the Gestapo HQ on fire, as well as killing four Nazi officers, Major returned to his regiment exhausted at around 4.30am. It was here that he discovered that the city was now free from German occupation, as they had fled west. This allowed the Canadians to take the city unopposed, and also earned himself a Distinguished Conduct Medal. Obviously someone worthy of giving Major a medal was around because he actually accepted this one. This marks the end of Major's reign of terror in World War II. However, he actually managed to earn another DCM in the Korean War, this time for holding Hill 35 against Communist forces and continuing to fight against overwhelming odds. That, however, marks the end of Leo Major's combat record. He lived the rest of his days out in Quebec, Canada, and died in 2008 at the ripe age of 87, marking the end of the Canadian Nazi slayer and allowing Nazis around the globe to have a sigh of relief. Thanks for sticking till the end, boyos. I took some extra time to make some basic animations and generally improve the quality of these videos, so if you like this new and improved style, please leave a comment and like the video. And as always, remember to subscribe. Oh yeah, one more thing, I've made a new channel for anything I make that doesn't make sense to upload here, so, you know, go and subscribe if you like shitposts and stuff. And on that note, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.